With us today is actress and former model Natasha Hudson, who is now focusing on blogging and has embraced the organic lifestyle with her gorgeous children. Hi, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also have Amanda Tay with us, naturopath, who's coming back to join us today. All right, so Natasha, before we start, what has it been like embracing the organic lifestyle? Um, it's been about nine years now. Wow. Um, started with my first child when I was actually pregnant to her because before that I actually had um, insomnia issues when I was pregnant. So when I met an Australian nutritionist, he actually um, invited me to come to his talk and listen to what can actually help treat me. So ever since, I've been really happy um, changing my lifestyle into a fully organic lifestyle, um, influencing my family and friends. Um, I see a lot of, how to say, difference in my health as well as on my skin, you know, um, you know, I can actually uh, counter uh, issues when, when it arises, especially getting yeah, sick. And how do I, how do I um, fix it? What remedy uh, should I actually, you know, cook up uh, at home? And so far, so good. Um, I see that, you know, my children are actually born healthy and well, and they get less sick most of the time. So I am actually really, how to say, um, embracing it and sharing more of the knowledge in my organic lifestyle with people out there as well. On that note, I actually <laughs> smell onions. What else do we have here? Right. What are we doing today? So today I'm going to show you a couple of the, my favorite natural remedy that I use at home mm -hmm. for my kids mm -hmm. and family. Mm -hmm. Today what we got here is, um, first I want to introduce you the eucalyptus oil. Mm -hmm. So eucalyptus is native to Australia yeah. and it has a lot of medicinal properties mm -hmm. like antiviral, antiseptic, yeah. anti-inflammatory yes. and it's a natural decongestant. It's excellent for you know blocked nose. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. So how you use this is very simple. So usually I will prepare a bowl of hot water mm -hmm. and just a couple of drops in the hot water. Yeah. And you can cover up Steam. yourself with the towel and then just give yourself a deep breath yeah. for five minutes. Like a steam. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do this all the time. <laughs> yes, and give you the instant relief. At the same time, it kills the microorganism mm. and then speed up the healing. That is actually amazing. I mean, how easy that was. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, eucalyptus oil is actually very effective uh, for the treatment for a number of uh, respiratory infection and such as cold, flu and cough symptom. Mm -hmm. So the other way that you can use it is uh, you can put it in your diffuser. Mm -hmm. So, usually I will leave the diffuser in the bedroom yeah. before you go to sleep. And I can guarantee you that with the eucalyptus oil in the diffuser in the, in the bedroom, you can have a good sleep yeah. without the stuffy nose. Yeah. I definitely want to try this. I'm so mm. excited already. Okay, <laughs> so moving okay. on from that, what else do we have? Okay, we have here is um, the sea salt mm -hmm. nasal spray which is one of my favourites as well. They are so handy because you yeah. can get it from local pharmacy. Yeah. And what they do is, because sea salt is one of the natural remedies yeah. like since ancient times, yeah. it's very great for internal cleansing. Yes. So you can use it to spray on your nose. Yeah. Then it will loosen up the um, mucus yeah. and then you can get rid of it easily. So for kids, I prefer to use onion. Yes. Yeah, because onion, they're actually sweet in nature mm -hmm. and they are rich in quercetin. Quercetin is a type of um, polyphenol compound mm -hmm. which also has the um, antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammation property. So how to use onion is very easy. Usually you can use onion to cook into onion soup for yeah. your kids yeah. because one thing about onion is they are not sensitive to heat. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say if you cook them into onion soup, you still can get the quercetin through the soup. Mm -hmm. See. Yeah. But the other thing that I would like to share today is one of the grandmother remedy, yeah. which is the honey onion cough syrup. Yeah. So you mean we're actually going to be making our own cough syrup? Yes, that's very simple and it's great taste and kids will love it. Yeah. So you must slice the onion mm -hmm. like this and then put them in a jar, layer up mm -hmm. and just pour in the honey. And make sure you cover them up. Mm -hmm and use a good quality wild honey. Yeah, that is the most important because honey is very soothing and the good quality honey also contains some enzyme yeah. Yeah, that will further support your body. So cover up and usually put the lids on mm -hmm. and then keep them in the fridge for up to 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Then how do you use it? It's very simple. So if let's say your kids have um, itchy throat, dry throat, dry cough and those conditions, you can give them one spoonful 
like every hour or mm -hmm. when as needed. Mm -hmm. So these have been amazing. So now on to you, Natasha. You were mentioning you like to focus a lot and play a lot with essential oils. Yes. So can you tell me more about that? Okay, um, what Amanda did was pretty similar to what I do, but instead of putting onion, um, I would actually take a cup mm. of hot water. I would add like probably a cinnamon powder and lemon and then give it in a syringe to my daughter. Just mix it up and just give it to them. Usually the cough will go away. I, I could actually use um, fresh lemon or a drop of uh, organic essential oil, which is lemon base. Sure. Thank you ladies so much Thank for you sharing. So much. It's Thank been you. so interesting. <laughs>